What are we doing? We were just here yesterday. We got a serious problem. Ew, I stepped in poop. Is that poop? No. That's nope. makeup. That's makeup from yesterday. So, our problem is... Man, I'm going to take my glove off to do this. You're going to step on my pants. So we woke up, and uh, we still, we have that box from yesterday, but we were thinking, man, what if they did some more, and it looks like they have thrown more stuff on top. It might just be boxes, though, because these boxes are, I don't know why they put the boxes on this side. I think the other side is people. Cool. I bet I could fit some in that. Let's put these in there. Actually, let's check this side. Then we'll put the boxes over there. Okay. Yeah, so they did put some more stuff in here. But maybe it's just boxes. We'll see. But we got a, we got a problem. <laughs> we woke up and we were tired. Okay. But Here's the problem we have. it wasn't too tired to come over here. Hey. By the way, stuff you can't put it. You can lower it with the, um, yeah, it's an adjustable pole we got here. Gotta just lower it down. Cause this one won't go as high. Go ahead, you can force it. Force it. Okay. There you go. Okay, here's the problem we have. Um, we did Tanya's benefit day back before last. And then um, then we had to get up early and we had a fire. We had to get up at six. We had a fire. And, that was um, yes yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And then our grandson's birthday was it was yesterday morning. That was like 9.30 till 2 or 1.30, yeah. something like that. Then we did a live with you guys. And then we went and did the six-pack show last night. And then after, as soon as I shut off the computer, I looked at Steve and I go, you want to go check the dumpsters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he goes, no, we'll wait, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> so. Yeah, so here we are. We just wanted to make sure, because they put that box out yesterday, which we haven't went through yet. We actually just stuck it in the garage. Ooh. But we thought, what if they put another box out? Cool. What is that? These are perfume lids, but they're neat. Why are they in this side? I don't know. So we're oh, gonna... Let's do something with these. We can figure out something. I'm gonna save these. Too bad the perfume's not in there. So they just, they just take the perfumes yeah, out of the... Boxes. They take the perfumes out, or the lids off. Kind of a nice That's box, that. too. Yeah, we can make eyeballs. These are neat. They're really heavy. They are nice. Plus, here, I see it. This one's like I think this is one. It's a leather wrap lid. Here's one, too. This kind of, so they take the, maybe they take all that off so that it's easier to use for the samples so it's quicker. Yeah. So what we'll do is they put some boxes, they put, boxes on top of that and they should be over here in the recycle so we'll we'll fix their recycle issue here's our little thing that we jacked the lid up with it's adjustable just push the knob and you could slide it those different vents okay good job with the rest of their boxes we don't need any right now but these are good boxes Yeah, Carol, step is addicted. She wanted to go last night. We were exhausted. And I said, no. I said, nay, nay. I just wanted to pee. I'm gonna grab those boxes and start bringing them over. We're gonna bring these over. They put these boxes here. They should be in the other side. So let's do some recycling. Okay. Drop these. Boom. Dream in black. I don't know if that's a problem. Them all in? No. I need help holding it open or yeah. Can we grab this side real quick for the lid? I don't know. Or hold it up. Okay, so throw all those over there. Yeah. And then 
then we'll be able to go through. Now we'll be able to see what they, which way do you want to go? You want to push it this way? Yeah. Eh, maybe they just brought boxes out last night. Is that a lid? Just because I know a lot of this was here, like down there. That was there yesterday. This would have been nice, still chewing Gavana perfume. The bottle's good. nice. Maybe somebody would refill their bottle. Oh. Here, Ooh, why don't you one. let me set that up? Here. That one. Black opium. Keep them. Look, it's important that this, let go, lower it. It's important that it's at a an angle and not where it start forward. Okay. This is how we start our day. Start our day. Start our day. Jumping in a dumpster. Dumpster. A lot of this, I don't think they they brought any more goodies out, honey. I don't think there's going to be a box. Well, down there, we were, that's part of last night or yesterday. When we were there yesterday. Ooh, but, there's some breakfast. Bye bye, baby. Had absolutely zero in their box. There's no way they can go this long without having left in their sock. They might have some trash. Okay, I'm going to move this over to this side. Set that up. Du, 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 du. Um, yeah, because remember this? This styrofoam? Yeah. We, I put this here. This, this is, this is, is cheapy styrofoam. That's why we didn't take it. Yeah, all that is familiar. I think that was from yesterday also. Let's go to Bye Bye Baby. Bye Bye. That's a nice box. What does it say? That's a Stealth. Smooth, smoothing iron. Smoothing iron. So it's an iron. Stealthy. A bunch of yeah. Envelopes. These envelopes can be used to mail like important documents and secret correspondence. Nice. So this is like high-end document yeah. mailing material. Deodorant? What is it? What does it say? Let them see what it says on there. Express treatment primer. Pillow proof. Pillow. You do something to your pillow? What the heck are they selling? Oh, there's nothing in it. Well, that it maybe had a pillow in it. Maybe. A compact pillow. Once you open it, it expands. <laughs> so you pop that lid off, you open it up, and it blows up like. I know, I gotta get the trash out. Here, I'll grab that. You grab your lids, I'll pick up our trash. For what in? This thing, or this is going to be in here forever. That big display? It's pretty heavy. I think they, maybe, that's super heavy. They left it. They you know what? The other day, though. Part of me wants to come with the truck and grab it, but I don't think. What are we doing? Just put, like, your cat shelves. You put rugs here. They're at angles. I know. It's a cat shelf. For my new cat? Yeah. Oh. I'm joking. Well, I'm joking. Let's go. Come on. Let's go to Bye Bye Baby. Say say bye bye baby, <laughs> bye bye baby. Bye bye bye. 
Oh yeah, I gotta put this. I gotta put this in. Throw that in the trunk. It's not really a trunk. It's the back. Hey, guess, guess who's here? What's up, dude? How's it going? Huh? It's a good day for you, huh? It's a good day because it's like a overcast. I don't know what happened. Got uh, a little sprinkles. Yeah. Man. It was just a light little sprinkle, and and it's really cool out. Are they a current group? Oh, I don't know what you guys are talking about, but that's Don Maserati, better than a Ferrari. Okay. Yeah, so we woke up to some, what we would consider inclement weather. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's just nice. It is really nice. It's off. it's cool. Are we doing GameStop next or Bye Bye Baby? Um, what do you want to do? I don't know. We'll just do GameStop next. Okay. Because GameStop, like when we drive in, we go buy it. We have high it hopes for GameStop, like, but yeah, we've just, never found anything. <laughs> And they, they dump some, it's not just GameStop, that's that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. It's a mattress company, there's somebody, I think that guy's sleeping in that car. Maybe he's dead. Let's he look. might have had a heart attack. Let's look at him. He slumped over in his seat, and he was there when we got here. Wake up, dude, wake up. Am I gonna have Oh, he's to... alive. Okay, buddy, I was just gonna check on you. I was gonna check your pulse. <laughs> okay, I'll go look. Should I bring them? If you want, I think it's gonna be the... Okay, you guys can come with me. I think it's not gonna be much either, but let's go look. Let's go take a gander. I feel a slight sprinkle. I should have brought my stick. This looks the same. Nothing. This is the, the big, huge frame that I got that cloth from. It's a pretty cool frame. But they had that big, you know, sheets of whatever that stuff was on here. These are great boxes, too. So, and this is the mattress from the mattress store. This is an awesome box. I want it. Not allowed. No. Gross. Okay, I've checked all that stuff already. Look at this awesome Tempur-Pedic box. Look how huge it is. I just have box, box desires. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say that, that's what's bad. Okay. Ah. I just talked about my box desires. <laughs> it came out wrong. Great. Great conversation. Yeah. Um, you guys know I have. I that guy was. Serious. Ready to go to work. Box hoarding issues. Hmm. And you can see why. Look at those great boxes we just left over there at. No, um, you can't see why. Most people Ulta. cannot see why. <laughs> they just say, oh, those are boxes. Anyone who sells on eBay can see why. Yeah, but if you need them, you grab them and you try to, you know, you're getting them for free. But if you don't need them, it's no different than if you need a needle, you get a needle. If you grab every needle that you see, you're gonna have a lot of pokey stuff going That's on. That's true. It won't be comfortable. Let me see who said that. We Tinkerbell Wings, I'm new to your channel. Uh, do you sell on eBay for a living? We are resellers for a living, but uh, we, sell we on do eBay, sell on eBay. We sell local, flea markets, mm -hmm. um, yard on... sales occasionally. Yep, we do swap meets, we do local apps, the local selling apps, we buy liquidation, we buy government liquidation, we buy anything and we And we're flip. serial killers. Yeah. We're serial killers. Yeah, and we're dumpster People tend drivers, to forget apparently. that. It's interesting how people will ask us, you know, like, do we do this for a living? And nobody has ever asked, hey, so how long have you guys been serial killers? Nobody's ever curious killing? about that. So it makes us wonder mm. what kind of people 
you well, people Well, they're not are. judges. <laughs> I guess that's true. They're not yeah. judges. They're only interested in the re reselling. So That's true. And that's that's right. That's where all the quality they're kind content of psychopaths. is. Right. That stuff just they like the fact that we're, we're telling you we're serial killers and you don't mention it means they're they're psychopaths. Well, they're very forgiving. I don't and forgiving or just psych because psychopaths don't they don't think about that stuff mm. like it's like oh you kill good for you I'm not yeah. impressed. It's true. During my first flea market, it. who said that? Let me see. Ooh. Are you spies? No, we're not spies. Oh, they think you're saying cereal with a C. That's what I am saying. The we are killing the some cereal. cereal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're killing breakfast cereal. We've got some good FedEx luck at this is, one. This FedEx. The so last. Okay, just go in that okay, here you take this right, then. I this. You got the car off? Hopefully they um they put something in here. There's FedEx delivery down there, and we are. It says Office Depot. Yeah, this is Office Depot. That's what I was All asking right. you, Steph. It's a Bye Bye Baby and Office Depot. Oh, okay. So this is the third one. And there's see the moisture from this morning it wouldn't be rain by most standards um, easy does it here you got that i'm just gonna have to rest oh so they were turning because there's a little piece of phone broken oh whoops okay. we don't care no because it's wet okay well amanda said the baby she would not care about a little bit piece of phone here go toss that in real quick not there I would say put it in the, um, the car. See what they do? They When they come back, they write that on a DNR. Do not return. And then uh, that lets them know, obviously, if somebody, which we're not into doing mm -hmm. that. This could be, I don't have a stick. So they did this either late yesterday. We were here probably around two or so yesterday. Probably, yeah. So, and we were here the two days before it, and there was nothing. So. so that's how much. Look at how much rain we had. <laughs> that's our rain when it just does a little drizzle. Tiara, just dump it, Steph. You'll see if there's a. Yeah, this is. I saw that boring trash, but the bathtub's pretty cool. Yeah. So. They returned it, but they didn't bring this kid back, apparently, because the kid's not in here. Looks like it'll be a three-piece. Three, there's some... Oh, and stage four is a stool. Amanda could totally oh, use that. Oh, that's cool. So it switches. That's a uh, top ramen right there. There's some top ramen. Huh. Hi, Mike. No, it doesn't really rain in California. It just kind of, I don't know, has a little mist and then it gives up. It just gives up. Can we take the poop up on everything? We'll take this. There we go. Cleans bottles and dishes. That's awesome. Dapple. Pure and clean oh, okay. bottle. Well, this is good. Somebody ruined these shoes. We got some in the clothes though. We can donate those. Yeah, we'll turn on the clothes thing, but they have a little rip on them. They do say DNR on the bottom, but that gives them his initials, and nobody will care if they don't have any shoes to look at. Dapple. Oh, that's fun. There. Na, na, na. That looks like yes, Tinkerbell, we are in Southern California. We don't know what this weather is about. Bigfoot says, never rains in Southern California. It pours. LOL. Oh. Yeah, look it. Look it. Look it. These shoes are made for walking. You could like you could put this on on a baby. I don't know what you would do with that little damage there, but we'll donate them. Just get a sharpie, fix that damage up. You could start that baby off with uh, like that the stoic training. You guys know what's stoic, stoism?
What was the question? I didn't see the question. I don't know what the question was there. Repeat your question. Oh, wait. I used to try and do it in Houston, but I'm black and always get stopped. I was, I was feared I would take taken to jail. Ah, uh, we, I mean, I'm not black. Steph's not black. I don't know if that's a, if that would be the, the cause, but for us, we haven't had any interaction with the police yet. We have had a security guard run us off one time, but, um, we haven't we haven't had the run in with the police yet. I'm expecting it and kind of looking forward to it because I'm curious what you know what they do. I'm curious what they'll do because there's you know we're, there's areas here where if it says no trespassing, then you don't trespass. If you do, then you're violating a trespassing law. But if it doesn't say that, all it says is no dumping here, so we're not dumping anything and. We'll just tell them. Well, that's what we. Well, that's what we. We'll just keep doing it. Um, that wasn't the question, but anyway, the, if if the, I'm I'm curious what the police would do if they'd waste their time. Did you leave that back open? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Don't want to leave this open. That makes it. Here's a tip. If you are just like parked, and you're, you know, you're out behind all the stores here. Don't be that obvious. Don't leave the back open and give them a reason. I think most people wouldn't care, but don't give them a reason. Oh, you didn't turn that if stuff there's back? a if there's a jerk that's gonna want to come out here and doesn't care about recycling or Here's upselling or our friend Mimi, she's on eBay or on YouTube. She said she's she's addicted to junk about it too. Her you might have to speak up. Stuff. But she said that she got caught at Barnes and Noble yesterday, I think, by the employee. And the guy came out when she was in there. He, I don't know if he asked what she was doing, but she said she was um, upcycling. And he said, it's awesome. Come back as much as you want. Yeah. Um, he would rather her to go somewhere. She got tons of stuff. She got. Um, yep, that's me. All kinds of toys, baby toys, kid toys. Stuff she's gonna give to her grandkids, stuff she's gonna sell. Good point, Cindy. With the trunk open, they might think we're dumping stuff. And I think that's uh that's probably the main concern with a lot of these places is that you know you drive up here and you pull a giant mattress out of the back of your Prius. That's not cool. That's like I think the most common dumping item is a is a mattress. It's so hard to get rid of a mattress. Okay, done here. Let's hit um okay, so we got few of these things random donate we'll donate and then uh say goodbye to this one when we were pulling up today there was like when we're getting off the freeway you could see a bunch of uh, the dumpsters because it's on the other side this? we'll just use this to wash merch yeah but if she wants it eliminates milk film and odor from bottles yeah We'll find a use for it. But when we're coming off the freeway, you can look over the side and you can see the route where there's dumpsters, which isn't on this side. And there was there was a a couple. I don't know if they're husband, wife, brother, sister, whatever. But they were loading up boxes down top of their vehicle. So what's the deal with uh, cardboard? Other than using it, are people getting money for? Returning that in for recycle. I don't know. Well, I guess we never find anything in that. Well, we did. Yeah, and there's bad, bad reception over there. Okay. So we're gonna head over by Pier One. That's where they that the other couple was. Was Pier One? They got a problem also. <laughs> and then it looked like there was some work going on behind that where we usually go. So we might have we might have to do a detour. I think that's we'll why they see. have no dumping rules. That's what Rob said. Um, let's see. Yeah, no dumping rules for... Do you drink the dumpster water too? Yeah, on hot oh, days. The Kool-Aid and the dumpster water for sure. Yeah, when it's, it's refreshing. Hot. Not when it's like this, I don't. Pier 1, woo! Yeah, we'll see what Pier 1 um, has in store. 
One thing we want to check after what Mimi said about Barnes and Noble, we've checked this barn and we can never find anything in it. And it's kind of, we're totally exposed there. So Steve doesn't like sitting in the cars the getaway when it's that obvious. Well, but no, we it's, should it's, go it's check it's a little it. more than just that. It's, it's considerably more than that. It's not a little dumpster. They got a freaking iron gate that's probably 13 feet tall. I'm not exaggerating. It's like a compound. And, and where we have to park is you're surrounded by moving vehicles like everybody's going. And I'm not worried about, I'm never worried about getting caught. Here's my, what I'm worried about is ruining it. Like what we, like with Ulta here, if an employee comes out and sees us in there, chances are maybe they're just going to be like, cool, my parents do that. You know, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a, that's oh, a possibility. Home. But if they are appalled by it or, you know, they just don't like it. And then they bring it to the attention of, other people in there and then they they can make it more challenging Let's yeah put it that or way. if they see the messes that other people are leaving and they think we're doing that too they'll start looking they'll start seeing when they see us yeah i mean like why bring attention to yourself unless you know that they're they encourage it or they don't care and we do this we don't just do this when nobody's working right you know if we're in this area we will go in there in the middle of the day We've actually ran into somebody getting boxes out of Ulta one time. We did. It startled her. We had that on video. Well, there's a poodle. There's a poodle. How you doing, poodle? Hi, buddy. Poodles wear clothes really well. They do. I mean, I... They get nice Jerry haircuts. doesn't get dressed except for holidays. But I would say... Wow, they've loaded up it's here. stuffed. Poodles are pretty good at... Is that a coffee table? Donning clothes. It could be a table for putting your dog on. Okay, let's go look. Putting your dog on it, and uh, I'm going to wear at least one glove. Like Michael Jackson? Yep. Okay. Wow, look at theirs. Yeah, that's We all went there heavy, yesterday. Heavy. You guys came with us, and it was heavy. just all huge stuff, but we got some good foam. That is Pacific Sales. Du, 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 du. Oh yeah. Looks like you got rid of a lot of food. Yeah, that would have been kind of broke it up. Kind of yeah, right now, like on the surface, it's kind of it's kind of damp. They have thrown a lot of food in there. Tons Hold on. This is a good piece of wood for casting concrete on. Are you taking it? I think so. Because this is a table I could use okay. to pour. So if you're not aware. Oh, do we need to do a purple No. I'm gonna make uh, some concrete projects. And when you so if you're pouring concrete and you're you're not you don't know how to actually finish it a lot of people they do a cast they cast it upside down and if you have a smooth surface where the concrete won't stick it'll create a finish for you you won't have the uh the labor involved but if you do it you're hey, that's cool i know this was bothered to be framed by Aaron brothers so that's not going to be cheap whatever this is so but it feels nice and heavy we'll take this to donate i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can fit this what is going on? What cool. store is this from? That's broken. It's not there. It's got a yeah. Bag, but that's pretty. If it was on this side, we could donate this one. No, nah, that thing's look at it's that thing's it's going through. Yeah. That's a that's a disaster. Somebody dumped their first one. Oh, this is like a curtain rod. Think I could is fit that in there? Dog it's a dog's life. It's a dog's life. Yeah, that's a donation. Oh, that's so cute. It's a donation. Pretty. It's our pay. I'll take that. Yeah, I want to see. I might have to come back for that. We need to organize a little better. You're going to slide the thing under, right? The big I, I don't know if it'll go in that way. That's what I'm... Hmm. I think it's too big. Yeah. What's up, dog? Well, well, I'm get them. well here, we'll just find out. Yeah, I think it's too big. It's a nice, 
Under him? No. What about... No. This is why as a baby mattress we slide it under his mattress all day. Honey, it's it's this way you gotta worry about. What? It's this way that you gotta worry about. Yeah, too big. That's okay. We got him out. That's okay though. If I wanted to do it this way, but I might we have to just come back with a over. truck. Yeah. I'll come back. I'll come back and maybe take take that apart too. I don't want to leave this out like that though. Okay, we'll put it back on top. Yeah. See, should have brought the the truck. Good job, bum crack picker. By the way, hello, bum crack picker. I'm crack picker. Oh, here's a tote. Oh man, I didn't do this part. Throw that back in. There's a top entry box. What? Look, it's a, it's a chair. Is it a chair or a... What the heck was going on in there? Here's some more... Somebody dumped their personal... Hold on, you move this. No, look at this. She's a beauty. Wow. Wow. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a hippie horse, man. And it comes on this nice little, it's like a, that's a cool, what do you call it when it goes in a circle? It's a merry-go-round horse. Like the colors on this baby. You're looking good there, fella. <laughs> A lot of people driving by right now going, those guys are lucky. Oh, they're so lucky. Got a couple bowls too. You can use these bowls for pezzling, like a pezzle. But look at that little fella. There's his stand. You could almost ride him if he was just a wee bit nice. bigger. Yeah. Got a little going on there. What is that? Yeah. There's another frame down there, but it's too far for me to get. Hold this. The dumpsters are so tall. No, there's all there's the tables on it. Oh. Oh, they loaded up. They loaded this dumpster up. Good throw. You could donate this cork board to somebody. Hey, Adam. See you later. What the heck? Yeah, somebody dumped, I think you're right, somebody did dump some they personal. Some personal stuff in there. This is a, I don't know what brand this, this is. Sure. These what are is great. It? What do you got? These are tissue and paper. They just That's dumped awesome. their world market in there. Oh, this is great stuff, a little tiara. A tiara, oh my goodness. This has Hey, go throw that bag There's and the other stuff in, in the back of the car. Because so many cars are coming by. If somebody does say something. Look at that. I'm wasting that freaking dog food. I know people say check to see if it's recalled, which we would do. But most of this isn't because of recall. Most of it is just a damaged bag or something. And then they just throw it. A ton of it. It's so wasteful. Such a waste. Does anybody need a wood hanger? Holy crap. There's a ton of wood hanger stuff. I sure wish I had a wooden hanger. Okay, well here's one. My goodness. Wood hangers sell on eBay. Wow. Hey Steph. There's a ton of wood hangers over here. Really? We don't need pots and pans, right? We don't need pots and pans. There's a bunch of wood hangers over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my, my Kung Fu grip. 
This was to Julie Deal. It's a top, top, whatever you call litter box. Yeah, we'll sell this logo. Somebody it? want it? Here, help me with this. Help me with these hangers. Oh, the Sylvia. We are at. Believe oh. it or not, there's the store we we're dumpster diving. I don't know why. Here, you want to just break the box and then we'll. Or you want to do them like that? Well, I don't know how to get the box out. I can. Hold this. It's kind of awkward. Okay. That's what I said. I just needed you to help me hold it. Okay. We'll take the wire ones out. See ya, Peter. No. But we can pop it in if we rearrange, but this looks like it could be worth something. Here, will you flop the lid open there and I'll stick these in there. Just tap that one, pops open. Yeah. This one? Uh huh. We could put all the all the hangers in there. It's already in a box. This looks like a nice little watercolor. I don't know what this is or why it's in there, but well, what should it's I nice. make Jerry share with what? With this? No, he can have this cat box back there with him. Okay, here's my my gymnast. This one me silver medal okay he's doing the reveal yeah. oh my goodness you just got a gold medal from one spring two springs wait do you see my dismount okay <laughs> what is that oh, it's, it's kind of cool that's really nice yeah, it's, it is. that's a nice donator good one okay here shove that in there this is a good little dumpster dive we got this is empty okay we need to put this back in. I already got my oh, you got it in? Get it. Yeah. Okay. So Steve's going to come back and get that. Who else knows what else might be in there? I'm just going to run down here real quick. We don't have any room for anything this might have, but. I know there's no room, but I got to look, right? I got it. I got a problem, people. Okay. We've seen all this. Looks like nothing new. Looks like. Hmm. Dishwasher and an oven items, inside items. Okay. Okay. There's that foam Steve didn't want. Okay, this looks the same. Alright. Nada. I wonder what's going to happen with those appliances. Who comes and gets those? Because they get them there all the time. Okay. Yes, we're in Southern California, and yes, we drive a Prius because it gets amazing gas mileage, and there's a lot of driving going on out here. A lot. <coughs> it's windy. Okay. We had to cool down. Oh. All right. Oh, by the way, this we're is who Jerry is. Of, <laughs> we're running out of room. Hi, buddy. Man. Do we you like actually, your cat box back there with you? We could actually. Uh, you do. We'll go check out the other side okay. and see. If you're if gonna we're come back, back with the truck, with the truck later. I do like that table for pouring concrete on. Um, so that table was definitely dumped by whoever dumped that dumped big it. box of stuff. The I know. And um, all their personal items, which like, were perfectly fine to donate. Go drop them off at Goodwill, you guys. It looks like come they on. could have had, um, yeah, donated quite a bit of that. What are you doing, Jerry? They're saying hi to you. Hey, over Honey, here. Leave him alone. He's not a circus performer. <clears throat> he is too. Look at him. No, he loves the circus. He's got, he's pissed there's a cat box. <laughs> he doesn't even care. Look how big his bed is back there. It's insulting. He thinks that you're replacing him. No. 
I'm not keeping that. I've got cat genies. Oh my goodness. They wash the poop. So where is everybody right now? Where are you guys? We are in Temecula, California. Here. It is a, now let's go to the other, we, we don't have room for stuff. Okay. I want to see if it's what's on the other side so we know whether to come back right away. That was the Barnes and Noble. It's 66 degrees. Kyleen, Texas. Really Philly. nice. Still in Virginia, Fremont, California, San Jose, um, Alabama. Alabama. Logan, Utah. Wow. South of the river. South of the river. San yeah, Marcos. Lad. San Marcos. Oh, Texas. Okay. We have San Marcos here San too. San Marcos, Texas. Um, Jacksonville, Tennessee, Mississippi. Oh, Jacksonville, Florida. Liverpool. Hey, Karen. Liverpool. Um, Mims, Florida. You've never heard um, of Mims, Florida. Wow. Delhi, India. Wow. Awesome. New Delhi? That's one spring, two spring. They gave you the gold medal. Outstanding. Greenville, North Carolina. Hey, Wisconsin. New Delhi gave me a gold medal. Um, Bellefontaine, Ohio. All right. I've heard Phoenix. of Bellefontaine. I'm here on accident. Hey, Jan, welcome. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm on, on accident. Yeah, yeah. Sweetwater, Texas. Sacramento. Yeah, it's Don. That's our sis. Don. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Texas, Texas, Texas. That's Central Texas. Wow, Texas is representing. Um, Winter Park, Florida. Rain, 76. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Um, we had a little sprinkle. Now it's hot. Um, I don't know what that even says. I, I O E F five. I don't know. Um, in my front yard, that's Rod. He's in Idaho. Hey, Rod. Um, Jose, I don't know any Spanish. I don't know what you said. New Mexico, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, still in South S C A. Many times. S C A. SoCal. No. Oh, um, South Carolina. A. It's kind of neat. I like Iowa, hearing where everybody's from. Phoenix. Um, hey, Karen. Oh, she's saying hi back to me. Uh, West Palm Beach, Beach, Florida. We know Rock and Roll. He's in uh, Northern, Northern Ireland. Ireland. That's David. Uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Jan I, I know Pete doesn't know how she got here, but she keeps watching. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what we're going to find in a dumpster. You just I never know. know. We don't either. That's By the, the way, thing that's a problem. This is Ste Steve. I'm Steph. That's Hi. little Jerry Seinfeld, our dog. And we are the resale killers. Yeah, people overlook the killing um, part. Placerville, <laughs> California. Central Illinois. Placerville? England. North. The uh, north bit. North of the river. <laughs> north Ocala, bit. Florida. Um, Tammy's saying hi. Elephant. And castle, all right. Elephant and castle, mate, in it. Oh. Elephant and castle, mate. What's it innit? mean? In it. What's it mean? In it. I know what that means. But what's the <laughs> elephant and castle? I don't know. Oh. I know that when I'm saying it, though, he understands. He does. Central New York, England is where you take less. I didn't know you were in England. Will you take less? I don't think I knew it. I'm trying to think, I think if I, I think did. I knew it. Um, let's see. Man, we are so Still addicted to UK Oregon. shows right now. Oh, we are. <laughs> we are loving. We're watching a new one. It's called. Oh, look, there's the people we they're were talking about. Look, they're still we here. We saw them. Wait, show the freeway. Freeway. So when we're getting off right the there. freeway up there. Look at these guys. They're just collapsing boxes, tons of boxes, and just mounting them on the car. Wow. Them. So they're just looking for boxes. They're still here. Okay, back That's here. That's some It looked like it was real. There was, ah, okay. ah, they got a little detour action. Looks like maybe they're doing... We're going to have to have some some gonads to dump, dump this one because there's people right here. Well, they're this doing is, construction they're doing or something. They're doing something in here. Looks like they're, oh, hydrant. Oh. Fix the hydrants. I'm completely fearless with this. I'm going in. Here we go. Look, he's all the way deep in the ground down there. Rancho water. It's so loud because the back windows are open. That was for him. Oh, here, I'm gonna check these dumpsters. I go right around there first okay. and we look at that one that we we hope someday to get a score out of this one because there's a Oshkosh and- A Carter's. Carter's. It's a, got some baby stuff, but it always has disgusting food in it and I don't know Shopping why. Cot. I mean, there's because other stores that have Because they're dumping their, you know, employees are dumping food here. Yeah, we've never Illegal found anything dumping. in here. Take We're going in. I think I need to stick on this one. It's kind of a high dumpster. Ooh, nice boxes. People are missing out on that. Let's see, are you zoomed in? Boxes, boxes, looks like some wet stuff. No, I don't think I need one. 
that's empty and that just looks like plastic and a hanger that's a no on this one nah nothing exciting there so we're in the back of there's Hobby Lobby. Everybody says to go to Hobby Lobby, but ours has a compactor, so we can't get to yeah. it. Yeah. Actually, you can see that compactor. This is what's common in like Here. anything that's newer and if they have room. Yeah. Like if it's an older area, they don't have room, but if they have room, that's what they do. Julie says ours too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it never sees <coughs> the light of day. Okay, but let's go over here to over by these remember, guys. I, I'm not getting any styrofoam right now because we have a bunch. Okay, we need to keep an eye out for a large sheet of styrofoam, which I think we just got one. We got a bunch of uh, nice. A man, or Adriana's gonna make um, a cactus. She's gonna paint it. A cactus wall thing for Amanda's baby shower. I think this is just gonna be styrofoam. Okay. Let me. Yeah. Give Jerry. Got some construction going on there and a delivery it looks like right over here. So this is TJ Maxx. And generally over here, it's mainly we're gonna see boxes and styrofoam. Every so often you might see something useful, but I don't know what they're doing with the majority of it. Oh, we can't even get styrofoam or anything? What? Can't get styrofoam? Okay. All righty. All right. We're not dumping. Okay. That guy said we can't, we can't get in the dumpster. It's the, and they're, they're doing, um, the guys that are loading up there. And he could, you could tell that guy does not like it. And he said private property, so that is the... But there's no sign. No. They know that if it's private property, that we can't do it. So that... And there's nothing really in that one. But technically, there's no sign. He's a party pooper, why not, says. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, like technically, if you really were, you know, like say we looked in there and it was, there, was a, there was a bunch of gold we could we would just start taking it because there is no sign and we know that law if it says private property you can't do it there's no sign you can't just say private property i waved at him private property you can't just say he's that. trying to look at our driver's her license plate go I that don't way care. he could see it he's pretending to that guy that's yeah. the btk killer right there that's a guy that wears here's what those guys do and if you dress like this, I apologize in advance. <laughs> <laughs> this, so they'll wear, they got like, you know, like keys and. Oh, they're the they guys got, that they wear got the like pants stuff. with all the pouches. Yeah, Tons they got a lot pouches. of stuff because they, they want to be important. And then they have opportunities to exercise what their imagination says is their power and just say, no, you can't go in there. Why? What is the big deal? Yeah. And I could understand if he that said, That was hey, TJ Maxx. I, I'm pretty sure that one had to be TJ Maxx. It was TJ Maxx, Maxx, and they had a big delivery coming. Yeah. But if, he, if they said, hey, it's a big liability, you're going to climb up and hurt yourself, that's one thing. Because some people would say, hey, I don't care if you do, but I can't let you because, you know, this is our policies. We don't want you to get hurt. I get These that. These look freshly dumped. But he was all, oh, he, yeah, was he was putting his chest up. He put his chest out. I'm puffing was like, no, my jump. chest. No diving in there. No, we can't get styrofoam or... No, no no digging in the dumpsters. Well, you, sir, are Seriously, on YouTube. Dude. Okay, yeah, I'm going I should have put him on going there. To peak. Oh, he didn't get on? This looks like these... Do, we do not see anything brimming over the side here. But let's see. I shouldn't be mean to that guy. So there's one, two... These are just recycling. And it's like in this little enclosed courtyard here. There's a movie theater over here that they dump like whatever concession stuff that they have. I mean, there's quite a few dumpsters in here. But that was, um, so we've never had anybody tell us no, ever. We've had people walk out while we're in a dumpster and not even, you know, they just don't even acknowledge that we're there. We've had people do this. 
<laughs> you know, the old, hey. But to actually say, no, you can't dig in our dumpster that doesn't have anything in it anyway. You know, we got, we got, we're just throwing paper and cardboard and styrofoam in there, but you can't reach in there and take any of that because that's trash. And we are determined to get our trash to the landfill. That's our goal is to get our trash to the landfill. So you, sir, need to move on and stop digging in there. I'm getting too worked up about this. There's some scary things to read if you look up different businesses chat groups. Walgreens chat, I found some of them wanted to like poison divers. Huh. Yeah. Man, that's just, that would be weird. That's like, that's true psychopaths, guys. Yeah, Lori, it will. It'll happen once in a while. It's just, and it's, but it's the approach. You know what I mean? Like, I know those kind of guys right there. That guy's, he, his, he is, identifies his person with his job and with what he's doing. That's how he down. sees his identity. And, and when that's gone, that dude's gonna be lost. Oh, he's he gonna have lost. so much fun looking for us now. He's just gonna be constantly on the lookout. Yeah. That's gonna be fun for him. He's gonna love it. That guy, I I'm bet you that guy come. has never snuck into a movie. <laughs> no, you don't have to go sneaking into movies. Fun, Who though. here has never snuck into a movie? I did it when I was in college. You know, I like you're in a movie. It. We and paid you, for one and we went to another one after. You hate to admit it? Yeah. I, I'm not I think I'm it's ashamed kind of a, to admit it. A rite of passage. <clears throat> I don't know. We might have done two movies. And at one point there was no one in there at all. And my friend and I rolled down the aisles in there. There were, and I'm sure that was disgusting. There was Rod popcorn. said never. Um I'm really bad because I've actually taken uh I've actually taken my kids out. Tammy that never one has. Time. Michelle I, hasn't. I had to talk my kids into doing it. Karen did. Melanie Tyler has. Um, Rod, no. Oh, that guy is the custodian of the dumpsters. Yes. <laughs> yes, Who he said is. That? Our new buddy in India. Is it India? Yes, he okay. is the custodian. That is perfect. He is. So we got to avoid the custodians of the oh, dumpster. Oh, Julie got caught when she did it. Oh, man. <laughs> you freaking serve. St tell him to stand down. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. right. Chill out, dude. Duffer this Cat is... never has. Do not, do not Bump crack ruin never. your day calling people out on, you know, on a dump strike. Because seriously, what if I was a true psycho and I just said, well, oh, Lori, I'm going to dig idea. in here anyway. Lori says, oh yeah, Stop that's me. the approach I know. That would be funny if he follows you and keep dodging him. He can't catch <laughs> us. And then drive by like Lonnie holding that box up in the air like, we'll just show him what we got. We get, if we get something with TJ Maxx written on it. Oh yeah. We just drive show by. by like, woo, look what Score. we got. No, we, so we drive by, Steph's Don holding out the has. window. We drive by him and we're going, woo, and it says TJ Maxx. Taunted. And then we drive by again. The other drive, <laughs> keep going back. <laughs> and we're saying, hey, we're on public property, dude. TJ Maxx. Oh, Janique says, never, but I sneak in lots of snacks. Oh, you have to sneak in snacks. They don't even look for them. But you yeah. still feel like you have to sneak them. That's what's funny. Why Knots has done it. Yeah. Fran says, I still do. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah. Um, I did had chinese food oh my goodness that's I, funny i think that it I, I honestly feel like with resellers and stuff i think that it balances out you do silly stuff like that and then there, you're going to do something that is you know selfless and generous it balances out so and once in a while i think i think that oh, there's man, like a um, mustache Ooh, that's that's hardcore what she, she was a dine and dasher when she was a kid hey one time, okay, I've done it twice, but I was a kid when I did that, that dining dash. And one time, a friend, like there was a group of us, but one of our friends got a, he was the first one to really get a job. And it was at a restaurant and, you know, he was, he liked his job. And when he was working, we went in there one day and we ordered all kinds of stuff. And then we, and he was the guy that was taking care of us. And then we left. Oh. He was so pissed. Oh so man! We feel bad about it afterwards, but when you're a kid, you, you don't, just don't think of consequences you, yeah, you the just same. Think the thrill of doing fun. something bad yeah. is fun. Yeah, we were like 25. 
No, I'm joking. <laughs> Will you take glasses? I snuck into the filming of The Omen at Brookwood Cemetery. The filming of it. And got it in the shot. They had to stop filming and we got it that's, back uh, That's cool. Were you doing this? Doing <laughs> yeah. it? You were going, ah, yeah. head spinning around. That's so Ooh, funny. Did you ever get any, did you get haunted or have any like, um, did anything creepy cool happen to show. you and your friend after that? Mm, did you guys get... You know what I mean? Like, was there a curse? Did something linger on you? Have you been cursed because of that? That movie was terrifying, by the way. <laughs> you guys are like the modern Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> America's Most Wanted. Yeah, screw TJ Maxx. We're going for it. Ooh, that at the drive-in, Tammy did, however. She didn't do a steal a movie, but she did sneak friends in the trunk. So I guess that counts. That totally that's counts. That's another thing you have to do. Because that's, I mean... Totally, that's the same thing. Don't You're you guys in. think there's like a, like, society needs rules, but you, there ha you have to break some rules. Bitter's basement says dumpster karma is real. Buddha lived by it. <laughs> 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 that's funny. Yeah, that guy, man, still bugging me. I should have shown you guys his face. Oh well, designated diver just keeps talking about how you were a marine. And uh, seriously, though, if you knew you were a Marine, he would have tucked in his tail and run. Oh, no, this guy <laughs> is one of those guys that... Um, he wouldn't have... He, here, I'll tell you what he, this guy would have done. He listens to Scanner on the radio at home well, all the time. Here's what he would not have done. If I would have said, I'm digging in his dumpster, he wouldn't have came over there. No. He would not have walked... That's a guy that will... He stands off in the distance and he says, blah, 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 blah. And then when you say, I don't care what you say. I'm digging. Then he won't know how to respond to that, you know, but it's a, it's a freaking dumpster. There was nothing in there. We never find anything in those dumpsters anyway. It's not like they're throwing jewels away. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I'm, I'm just, I shouldn't let that bother me. I just was like, man, that guy just his ooh. whole way carried himself. If somebody just says, hey, please don't do that. Or you guys can't do that. But he was like doing a little extra. He had you know fun I mean? with it. Yeah. He yeah. was waiting for somebody to do it. It's no, you're private property. Yeah. No, it's not private property. Julie Tuff dude. said they need rules for people who need rules. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> it totally makes sense. That really makes sense. Like the hall You're right, monitor. Lori. Do they still have hall monitors? Oh, that guy was a hall monitor. <laughs> Volunteer hall yeah. mo monitor for sure. He's the guy that if if you come in late. Yeah, he's like BTK. Guy, he's letting everybody know that you came in late. Oh yes. He's measuring your lawn out front yeah. for sure. Um those are the but, guys that totally um are the ones that volunteer to be your homeowners association guy oh, that goes yes. around and does the <laughs> sends out the yes. fines. They love it. That's the one you don't want on your homeowners Oh, man, association. those people are freaking horrible. Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny about those guys? Because we had an experience one time. If you get, like, it's all it's all random and, and luck. But say you just happen to, you meet the person that has the power. and <laughs> The power. The power in an association. Because there's You fights. meet them, and then you, you somehow, they just, for some reason, like you. Yeah. And then you just, you just never say much. You know, you don't let them know mm. much about you and they just assume certain things. They assume you're like them. Yeah. Next thing you know, you get away with everything. Oh yeah. You could do whatever you want because they think you're like them and you just nod your head when they're telling you stories or they're complaining <laughs> about something. You just <laughs> nod your head. You got to get on the good side of those people if they've got some power over they're psychos. where you are. They want to they use that. I don't know if any of you guys are, have associations out there. We're not in one now, but we, we man, we dealt with a... Had, I don't know if they have them in the UK, but we they, had a it's rental like property. The board, they have a board and they um, rule over what things are approved or not, how long your grass can be or can't be, when you need to. Everything. If you got weeds, they got to get them, you know, you get a fine until you clean them up or, you know, there's all kinds of things. Or you can't have certain things parked up in front of your yard. Some of it's whatever. practical and good, but yeah. it never works out. It never works out with common sense. It's always a group of people and that group seems to be. There like you go, Silver Hair. Power hungry people, man. Just yeah. Well, but on the other hand, they do keep neighbors from having cars parked in their driveway. There's like practical being worked stuff. on or having them paint their house camouflage or something crazy, like crazy colors. I don't or mind whatever. working so I on like your them. car. I don't mind working. It's a problem. Yeah. But I don't mind people working on their. Feet. No, I don't either. That's fine. But if they're sitting there and they're one of the ones where their car's gonna be up on blocks forever. Maybe you don't want that in your neighborhood. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, association. That guy, if he was in an association, he would be lobbying to be the president of it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm glad he's not on ours. Ours is really liberal. They're, I mean, 
no, they're really, really, really nice. They're like, just cool. I've never, we've never gotten a letter. Our neighborhood's got just a lot of, a lot of older people, and then the younger people that are in there are a lot of like blue collar workers. There's only a couple that young own ones. their own small businesses. No, outside of our cul de sac, it's oh, that's out there, all yeah. That's moving in is like younger people, which is good. Yeah, the older people, the Miracle Woodworker guy, two doors down, they sold their house, so we don't sold know who's moving in there, and I hope it's not the Crabs guy. That's what I was thinking is, what if, <laughs> what if he was there to come look at the house and wanted to know what's going on over there They might not door? know what the Crabs guy is, but oh. you look at, we have a video where it's a, a ring, ring doorbell. doorbell picked up this guy doing some disturbing he stuff. He was some itching. He had some serious itching going on. Maybe it was or itching. fondling. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Well, I don't remember he was who aggressive said it, but they said it, if you're you fiddling that. more than seven times, it's more than a fiddle. <laughs> or whatever number it was. Four, three times, it's more than a fiddle. He was all in. He, he was, was totally all in. committed to what he was doing. Yeah. Kind yep. of impressive. Yeah. So. Okay, let's see. Here's. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Why not says, I'm glad we don't have one of those neighbors. Uh, one of those because my neighbors already wonder if I'm robbing people because we're always bringing home stuff <laughs> We don't go, and we don't go to work. That's true. We are so lucky. I know. I know the people in our neighborhood don't necessarily approve, but they like us, so they and let they things slide. But we've had, we have big trucks come to our house and drop off pallets and they're in our driveway yeah. as we're unloading them. We've had crazy stuff delivered. The people that are and like they're fine with it. It's closest nice. to where we, you know, like within like 30, 40 homes, all those. We've, we've had community yard sales, which have died down for some reason, but yeah. they all know. We've had people come knocking on our door wanting to buy stuff that yeah. are our neighbors. So they know what we do and they're, they're cool with they're it. They're really cool. But we've had some crazy we, stuff parked in the back of the truck that's like big yeah. and hideous. Like, what the heck is and you've that? You've already seen our blue van. That's not, that's kind of an eyesore. Guys you know? want to know what it is. Like guys are like, what is that? Yeah. And who knows what the, I mean, I'm the sure there's thing. some women might be curious, but nobody, no women ever come up and say, hey, what is that? No, but guys will come over and want to know, hey, ring the doorbell, want to talk about whatever's in the truck, yeah. back of the truck. What'd you guys get see. this time? We don't even Thanks, know, David. David. We don't even know what it is. David said to hit the like button. You guys, hit the like button if you want to. Thanks for wanna. coming with us today You've while we were enough. dumpster diving. If you just tuned in, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, so, hey, we... We'll see what, like we thought we would be doing the unboxing of that Ulta box from yesterday. Oh, Lori. But Steph had to go out this morning. I'm glad she talked me into it because this is a pretty good one. This was fun. Was we got some good, good stuff, stuff. And it was fun. And we got to meet the custodian. Yeah, we, we did. We all met the custodian of the dumpsters. Oh, man. If he only, he's the type of guy that didn't, who, he definitely who applied. that phrase? I'm going to use that, though. It was one spring, two spring. Okay, one spring, two spring. I'm going to borrow that phrase if you don't mind because I really like it. If we can remember it. Custodian of the dumpster, man. Dumpster this, custodian. These cops pulled over two people. Um, dumpster custodian definitely wanted to be in the military and didn't get in or something. Yeah. And he tried to be a cop, not didn't get in. But he's probably a volunteer one or has tried to volunteer they just to have him. something, and they, they don't, don't want him. They don't that want guy. Him. He's just relegated to. Yeah. Custodian of the dumpsters. And oh my goodness! Why not? Cool. Said they even called an undercover detective to drive by and look at us one time. What? what? You got some psycho neighbors. You got a BTK neighbor right there. They're gossiping about them. There's something going on at this Something's house. Something's happening at that house. You know why? Because they can't wrap their their head around. And the a lot, lifestyle of, a lot of, of people a are like this. Just that, that whole, an unconventional lifestyle. Dumb and dumpster. <laughs> living on, you know, being on the fringes of what is considered normal. Yes. And making a living without, you know, complying with the way that we've been told social to social norms yeah like we've been told to you know go to school get an education get a job work till you retire and then die that's yeah, what we've live been in one house to do. your whole life yeah that's that's just like hey this is what you do mm -hmm. to keep the big wheel turning and then we all of us are saying Custodian no is my old boss from blockbuster probably <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Steve has boycotted Blockbuster because of I shut, bus. I personally started the demise of Blockbuster <laughs> because back in the day, you know how you would get you could rent movies and then they'd charge you these exorbitant oh, the late, late fees. Were fees. Crazy. Well, okay. I was I was renting from them on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Oh, cat litter box is in the way. Trying to make a mess. <clears throat> yeah, keep going. What happened? So I was running from them from a re on a regular basis, and then 
you know, I even paid late fees because I knew I was going to be late. I didn't and care. they're always 30 bucks. Yeah, whatever. I got your late fees. And then one day they did that and they, they what they did was they, mm -hmm. they had a, like they turned me over to collections or something. And uh, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I pay the late fees. I have no problem with it. And you guys are doing that. Got it all straightened out. And I said, I will never, ever use you guys again. And I will encourage other people to never, ever use you. And I never did, ever, ever, after I said that. And, and that was closed. before Steph and I got married. Yeah, because I, I, I nipped that in the bud. Steph liked Blockbuster. I don't like, I don't I don't approve of boycotting all the time. And he want, he's on the verge of I a boycott all it. the time. He wants to boycott Starbucks all the time. Postal pickup. Oh, look. I never, I, that, she's really nice. She's so nice. Leticia. This, um, Is so anyways. Coming? And that started their demise, so beware. I'm going to do Starbucks next. No, you're not. No, you're not. You know why? Here's why. I'm going to do it, guys. Starbucks, we found out from one of our subs, their wife works there, that they donate their day-old food or whatever. They donate all of their uh, returns that's, to that stuff's good. companies and stuff or, you know, that's shelters good. or whatever I it is. I approve. I that approve. is amazing. They're actually hey, doing the right thing with their the waste. Here's the thing. With, with Starbucks doing that, I think that's great. But don't don't even for a minute think that the suits are doing that because that's something that they feel moved to do that they think is important. They I are do. doing it. I'm glad they're doing it. I don't care. It's better that they do it just to, you know, curry favor with with to tell her you know you. with the folks that think you should do that stuff. Thank you, Leticia. At least they're doing it, so that's good. But they're not doing it for that reason. So don't. They're they're big business and they don't want to have that moniker. They do not want the moniker of. I'm big business. They're big business. They do it for tax cuts, man. Got so that right. Spring, two spring says. I mean, but I'm glad they do it. Don't they it, do I, it that I way. would rather they do that, even if it's phony, because I know the employees probably like that they do it. But there's a big difference in why you do it, whether you do it for wrong or right reasons. There's a big difference. If you're doing it for the right reason, there's other things you're doing that we don't see that are great also. You know, there's things you do because it's part of your moral compass as a business that we don't get to see it, but it's the right thing. They are doing it because, oh, we gotta be, you know, we're like the wow. we're like the coffee store next door. That's what they're trying to portray. Mother's mustache. Steve, you're not gonna be proud of this. Steve and Steph bought my first Starbucks ever. Remember I won a ten dollar gift card. <laughs> oh my One now a year later I'm fully addicted. <laughs> Sorry. Oh that's, <laughs> that's horrible. Awesome. Oh cute. That's so horrible. What you doing that, bud? Sorry, Mother's Mustache. We did that to you. Oh, I'm so glad we did. And it is sleep. good. It is good and addicting. I will admit that. No, Rod. Rod is right. He's supporting no. my boycott. No, Dutch Brothers all the way. I've never had it. I would love to try it. I I don't. Oh, well, I like all coffee. Actually, yeah, Trust that me. coffee does. What was it called? Um, Dutch Brothers. Is that the Canadian one? Whatever Jory Good Use Good does. That sound. Dunkin everybody Donuts? makes that. No, it's a uh, um. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. I'd that like sound, to try that too. People, the, hearing people talk about that, that sounds like it's wonderful. I'm on the Costa Coffee lately. I don't know what that is either. That sounds good. Oh, check this oh, out. Oh, Jory's in here. Tim, Tim Horton. Hortons. Hey, Jory. Good you's good. Hey, so we... Jory just upstaged you. He's the star. We have been drinking more Starbucks than usual more lately because our fancy coffee machine, there's this thing in there. It's like a... It looks like a radiator, a miniature radiator, and water, you know, the hot water runs through this thing. It's made out of aluminum. And it sprung a hole a while back, and we fixed it, but then it did it again. So, and Keep we, springing we new tried holes, to, yeah, leaks. Tried to find the parts. It's a heating element. No parts available, but Steph just found our same coffee machine, which is amazing. And so it's, it's in Utah. The DeLonghi Utah. Magnifica ESAM 4400. <laughs> it's in, yeah, it's in Utah, on offer up, and it's getting shipped to us. And they offer the shipping. I've been looking for this thing forever. The part that we need, if if you could find it, the part is like forty bucks, and we tried to buy that part, but it's like on back order for five years or something. It's never gonna happen. They're but not we, making it. So anymore. that part's forty bucks. The lady wanted eighty for a coffee machine. Steph offered her fifty, and it's no, happening. No, I offered her forty. Or forty. She wanted eighty. I offered her oh, forty. It was fifty-two total because of the shipping. So we're paying twelve dollars <laughs> shipping, on offer up. We're testing this. It and can I'm be, gonna sell the other parts after that, unless we need to keep them. I think we, we might keep save it. them. Just we in keep case. it just in case. But, so when that coffee machine gets fired up, that's that's the uh, best coffee in the world. We are back to our coffee, to Steph Bucks. It is the best. If we, if we get it, once we get that fixed, 
we'll show you a video of that Steve thing making coffee. Just it making coffee is a pleasure. Mm -hmm. But that's so that, and we'll show you that offer up deal. We'll see if we get ripped off or not because we've yeah, never done. She has no uh, feedback and no sales, but she did respond to me. So we'll see what happens. I've tried to buy something else on offer up, and the lady can't find it. This is so, the whole new shipping, guys, on offer up, and it's yep, we'll so see you how it goes. you can look throughout the United States and and up to it looks like it goes up to twenty pounds, and at the from ten to twenty, we I this is not. I have to look at it again, but let's say like the heaviest would be ten to twenty pounds, no, and David. it's a it's a flat rate. Yeah. So they're twelve dollars for this big machine. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. And so they've got some kind That's, of deal that they've got, you know, with the shipping and like offer up. They've they've arranged these things to where they can have. It's what know, eBay gives you of, that discounted shipping. You know, their real rate of shipping is super low. Yeah, eBay. They're giving us a little discount, discount if you're top get. rated. Um, but they're getting a massive one. And that's what, like, uh, why um, Poshmark, Poshmark and um, Mercari and now OfferUp, they're offering a bigger discount. So there you go. eBay's taking some more of your money. Yeah, David, OfferUp well, we is, offer is doing it. Yeah, OfferUp is turning turning pretty good. How did you pay? PayPal? Uh, no, I had to pay with a credit card. So I've got um, buyer's, Ooh. buyer's protection there if something happened. But... You know, OfferUp says they're going to cover it. So once it ships. How do you pay? PayPal? Yeah, I paid with credit Can't card. Stop saving. Yeah. So. I think they had the option of PayPal, but I did the credit card so I could stop payment if something happened. And with that deal, <clears throat> like we'll, we'll do a video about it when we get it and, and we'll review the whole thing. But we look at their, you know, like how, just like we would do here. It, have they got a history of selling? And, and honestly, we want that part so bad, we're willing we're to take the, the chance. Risk. But it's also good to find out, hey, like if we tell people about stuff, we want to do it. You know, we want to do it and then tell you about it. And we want to spend our money yes, and then you can. show you just just like uh, with the liquidation, with buying stuff on government liquidation, uh, customer returns, all of that. We, we, we are not the type of people that are going to be good at just sitting down and doing a class and all that. We're probably not even good doing what we're doing right, the way we do do it, but we do spend our money and report back to you that, hey, this is how much it costs, this is how much we sell it for, and you can make money doing this. Whether or not we would keep doing it or not, we'll let you know that it's definitely something that people can do. We should, and in June, we're gonna update all several of the projects we've done, like the clothing. We did the clothing two different ways, selling clothing, the, um, our liquidation stuff. We got a bunch of stuff coming in from government liquidation. I told you guys the beginning of May, as soon as we found out about the site moving to the new site, go dove.com. Go, dash, com. go, go minus dash, sign. Yeah, go dove. minus sign dove.com. We got <clears throat> we bought two units already that's are we're probably gonna we got like say a total of two hundred dollars into the stuff that we got at home and we're looking at close to three thousand dollars. That that would be I don't even like saying that. I like to wait till it's sold, but that's yeah. that's realistic for We've us. We've told you guys our best profits have been from gov li yep. the government liquidation. And now we've got, far. we won another, we won two other lots of, a, I think it's going to be like 27 pieces of electronics equipment. And I'm bidding on stuff that will end on the 23rd, which is the day after tomorrow. Go home, girl. So you hey. guys should go on and, hey, you Maybe guys should be checking that site out. I'm telling you about it. And when you go on to GoDove, there on the left hand side it'll say previously government liquidation there's a little thing if you click on that that's the stuff that will be liquidated by the military you know like and that's a lot of what we get and it's mm -hmm. not don't think it's just like military gear there's stuff that comes out of kitchens we have not there's electronic spring. stuff but it, i'm bidding on that stuff right now feel free to buy it take it out from under me like there's stuff on there that you can make money on it's not going to be like sexy crazy stuff even though sometimes it is like metal detectors that mm. collapse and you can put them on your hip and they can work underwater we've sold a lot of those but go check that out it's just other ways we're trying to show you guys this this year as many ways to make money as we can find and explore and it's it's like an adventure for us as well so that people have extra tools and yeah. we're learning as we go too. Like we're learning about, like we're going to be doing projects and flipping them. We're going to be upcycling. Upcycling, true upcycling. Look at us, we're upcyclers. You can also rescue stuff from the landfill, donate it. You could rescue animals and sell them. Yeah. I'm joking. Just rescue them and keep them. Give them yeah. some love. <laughs> I'm going to find a cat and rescue a cat. Yeah, but I, that's, 
I, we've got new subscribers, so we do want you guys to be aware that that's like There's our... There's many ways to re to make money on the side. Yeah, but our, our like this Speaking year, of... our goal this year is... Hey, Cincinnati Picker, John, thanks for popping in, man. Our goal is, for this year, is to get in as many different things as we can and, and make money on those things and let you guys see it happening and, you know, share that with you. So that, because some people are going to... They're going to take what we say on one area and run with that. Some people don't like it. Some are going to do something else. We we do get feedback from people. people. We know people are doing the different things, whether it's buying customer returns, government liquidation, uh, flipping stuff that you find on the local apps, especially if you've got a job, if you've already got a regular job, you scour through those local apps, do it on your work hour. Here's you, another thing you can you do. flip stuff that way, selling at the flea market, selling at yard sales. Dumpster diving, getting free, free stuff. I think Steph, I don't know what the dollar amount is right now, just from getting free makeup. Makeup. We haven't even, we just listed some of the, the stuff like the the bye-bye baby stuff. I haven't even listed the, no, I didn't, I just listed that local. I'm going to sell just the, the sheet, the top yeah. sheet on that thing. Put that on there for a hundred bucks. Um, I'm going to put Where are you that at Versace on the perfume. Cosmetics? Over 250. Over 250 on a cosmetic. And I have and nothing that, listed man. right now. It's all sold. And uh, I won my reseller diet bet. I just made $24. Hey, and top pick. What 74 is, what are you cents. So that's another way. It's part of Gov you Deals. You want to lose 4% of your weight? I got the ban hammer from Gov Deals. They banned you? What's the ban hammer? Is that Go Dove? Yeah, Gov Deals is different. This is Go minus sign but did you dove.com did you get banned you got banned what got for the ban hammer but is that is that go did you go to go minus sign dove now keep in mind when you go to that site yeah it's part of the same name you go go dash dove is enormous enormous i mean you could go on there and say you want to buy something in the uk iceland whatever you know but you if you pick the united states you'll see other stuff other than the military stuff that they're liquidating and always look at what percent you're paying on that too. It's like 18, I've seen it as high as 18 and 12, 5%. I don't so when know why you got banned. Uh, yeah. They'll ban you if you don't pay or pick up your stuff. Oh, well, that's understandable. You got to pay and pick up your stuff. That, that ain't what he said though. Okay, if if that's why. Um, are you selling your cosmetics on eBay or offer up? A, I think it's a minus sign. It's a minus sign. Yeah, Karen, I think it goes geo with the dash minus sign it's not below it's like pink yeah not underscore and then dov uh purple lily i am selling my cosmetics on um the dumpster dive cosmetics i don't feel comfortable selling them on ebay or you know poshmark or something uh, like that i could disclose it but i don't know i just feel weird about it it's but it's better to sell it to people that, <clears throat> that know where it's coming from they're no they just understand this yeah they, i think it was no... mimi told us that there are um Facebook groups specifically uh, for dumpster dive people makeup and they um, have no problem with it being dumpster dived none none at all you just disclose it show yep. it to them and that's where it's all going and it sells as soon as I list it somebody's wanting it because they're getting they know this stuff is coming from Ulta so it's the real stuff it's not the knockoff um, and it's high quality expensive stuff with maybe a little bit of something on it or you know some of it's salvageable they know how to it's just an easy sanitize when it. you when you're going to those sites you, they love it you've got you the customers are there for what you what you're offering you can and also that, sell your used makeup thing. on there top People picks try top picks you should uh try to get a hold of them and ask for some leniency yeah <laughs> he had two accounts okay. he said he had two accounts i didn't know that that would be you a tell problem. him it's from a dumpster yes you're selling it on this site as dd means dumpster dive Quirky if you girl. go on there you just go join these groups um, go to, if you want to, just go type in the search on Facebook and type in dumpster dive makeup and like, you know, a bunch or of groups will come up, group. jump in there and just look at what people are selling and yeah. look in there and it's just crazy. People it will is. buy this stuff. No but problem. Anytime you're like, if you're, that's the beautiful thing about those groups. First off, the people are passionate about, you know, whether it's getting a good deal or whether it's they're disgusted with waste. They won't you know, let you join it unless you say you're fine with it being buying something from a dumpster. Will you take less? They don't will you do let a you flea shame market people with, on there. Will you do a flea market with all the dumpster stuff? I I would um, I would say the majority of it like hard goods, the cosmetics. I I'm, mm -hmm. I'm on board with Steph. I want it to be people that 
fully that aware know of where exactly, this is coming from. Yes, that it's just such a. I don't think there's anything gross about it at all, but it's an intimate thing. You know what I mean? Like you're putting the stuff on your face. You know, you're wiping with it, whatever. I don't know what they do. Wiping? With this stuff. With whatever it? they do with stuff like that. I, I'm not an expert. I'm not. No, you're not. You're definitely but, not an expert. But, on but it. why? You know, like no, we wouldn't take cosmetics to the flea market. If, but the other like stuff. Like a perfume, I would totally take that perfume. But there's so many knockoffs. Cat at box. The casino. This, or this at the top casino at top cat, cat box top entry definitely. I'm gonna put that, that on offer go. up. Somebody will buy that in a second. And recycling. See, oh, homegirl. It, that's a big thing you know what i mean it's not just about this isn't just about making money and that's a fun part of here's here's what this is about <clears throat> the thrill okay the thrill is real it's fun that's we were freaking running on fumes and got up in the morning and because we've been trying to you know like find the best time that's going to work for us with our other activities as well and like last night or y yesterday after the birthday party we found that box and then we started thinking Man, we haven't opened it maybe yet. Maybe they the were way. maybe they were throwing stuff in, you know, during during the night. This is what starts running through your head. Yeah, you don't want to miss it. Then we go this morning, and there there was more stuff in there. It wasn't like a big score, but no. we, but because we did do that, we found we that, ran other, into stuff. that other stuff. But, and that's another thing too is you're not just keeping it from the landfill. We're gonna donate what we oh, don't yeah. want or whatever to, you know, charitable companies we'll who put are it on benefiting our local, somebody. Like there's an app. If you guys don't use this one, it's the neighborhood. What's it called? Next door app. Okay, next. If you go on next door app, and just say, "Does anybody need?" Here, this is free. We'll give stuff away. There's, oh, totally. That's a, and that's another thing, <coughs> is you can give that away like to that people that can use it. Yeah, I we just, gave the cat food away on. Was it next door? No. Next door app. Or? No, I put that one on offer up, but so, I just saw a little thing saying, you know, does anybody? Yeah. Need it. That cat so. food was in. It was still in the cans. It wasn't expired. It was not it was recalled. Dings, like it that. had I think dings it was in a, it. And the grocery stores do the same thing with human food. If they get dinged, they're not going to put that on the shelf and be able to sell it. It wasn't recalled. We would not get food if it no. was open, by the way. Like that food that was just all over the place in that bag. There was some that was perfectly fine in that dumpster, but I didn't want to throw it away. I didn't want to rescue it. Yeah, rescue sites. Exactly. That's yeah. who came and got it. It they was need, a rescue needs, lady. Yeah, those, <clears throat> those people are volunteering and that stuff adds up it adds up in a big way so yeah but like savers we do we donate stuff so we can get our 30 percent off coupon but they are don't you know they are benefiting people in need and um like angel view we donate tons of stuff yeah. there all angel the time is more of a, i think it's just a local and they're one for disabled people with disabilities yeah and you know then there's goodwill salvation I wonder if army angel view is just our region huh i don't know it might just be our they region, got a lot of stores, but they got, they got several stores. and You're doing a community a, service. That's right. Let's do it. I think that's it. right, too. And I think I'm really excited about doing the, the upcycling, like like making stuff. Yeah. We don't claim to be artists, but we will. We're going to start being artists. Because once yeah. we make a piece and we say it's art, I'm assuming that it's art. It's art. So we're going to upcycle gonna some stuff. We're going to call it trench art. And how fun Dumpster is that? Art. <laughs> like, seriously, guys, how fun is it to, when you go out and find stuff, it's, there's a thrill. There's all, there's going to be a great big thrill if you find something that's worth a lot of money. Yeah. But even when you find stuff that's just fun, you know that that's part of your your existence. Like you took that little moment, and your endorphins are running around. You know you're having a good time. That's important. And we're doing multiple things with that. We're 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 going to make some money, whether it's a little or a lot. We're money gonna, with zero of our cost. Yeah, zero cost. We're gonna we're gonna help. It's gonna benefit somebody else if we find stuff that we can donate. We're gonna keep stuff out of the landfill. We're gonna take some things and turn them into something entirely different and sell it. Cool. Julie says I want to send you an upcycled piece I make. So into it. Do it. That would be so we, cool. We'll show. Hey, there's it. this fun. show. Okay, so and we we started watching this show after we were already talking about doing the upcycling. But the show is neat, and I, I know that these shows are never just full on reality. But it's an, it gives you good ideas. Like there's, they have a competition. It's flipping, flipping profits. Not, it's on YouTube. If you go on YouTube, you can find all of them. It's mm -hmm. flipping profits. It's in the UK. They have a contest where an upcycler, like an antique person, and just a full-on flipper. They don't care what they like buy. Furniture flipper, anything, or whatever. They just buy something and flip it. Three different ways of people who want to compete yep. to. They sell all them. go out. They all buy something, and they got 15 days to flip what they bought and see who makes the most money, right? 
So it's fun. And the upcyclers are always more fascinating to me because they, they're taking, some of them are oh, really so extremely good. art. I mean, like, yeah, like just blow you away. But they yeah, take stuff. like the doll head planners. You know what? A lady did do the doll head planners. Yep. I sent that one to Tanya when she was in the hospital. And I said, look at this idea. But check that check that show out. It will, seriously, it will it will at least give you ideas. And here's, I'm going to tell you something else. Like, I love, I love the folks in the UK. Seriously. Like, believe me, I love them. There's some on that show that you will not understand what they're saying. <laughs> and and I'll I put know. put subtitles on and they don't know what they're saying either. I want to ask some, like if any of our friends from the UK watch that show, I want you guys to tell me if you could understand, especially this guy, he does like metal work. Kev. Like he does incredible stuff. And, and he's from Scotland. Even, even the guy that's doing the over, the voiceover stuff, he's real funny. He's even said, didn't know, don't know what he's talking, didn't know what he was saying. I think it's a Cockney accent or he's from... It's uh, amazing. I love it. I have no idea what Ireland. he says. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. You're just sitting there going, what? What, what did, did he, he say? say? <laughs> and you put on the sub, you put it on, like to have your subtitles in there. And, and the subtitles don't, even, like, it's like, they don't even know what he's saying. Mm -mm. But it's fun. But it it's is a fun. fun show. And he is so talented. He's so good. He's the okay, guy that Caroline, makes animals. Caroline, he might be from, he might oh, be Caroline, Scottish. Oh, Caroline, you will, you'll understand him. Probably. Oh, it's 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 so rough. It's, it's hard so for rough. us. It's like, but it's it's very enjoyable, and the guy is so talented. He's it's so unbelievable. Good. His head shaved except a little bit up here, but he takes he's metal so good. and turns it into like he can make a piece of metal look like a leaf, Scotty dogs. like a leaf or dogs or whatever. It's just oh, incredible. He makes beautiful stuff. It's called Scottish it's, accents. It's called flipping, flipping profits. Yeah, flipping profits. We watch it on YouTube. There's a guy, Victor. Mm. What's his name? Victor somebody. He's got them all on his um playlist. Oh, there's a guy we subscribe Victor... to his channel and yeah. all he does is he puts those, he puts like the Antique, Antique Road, Road Show. Show. And then another and... one we're gonna start watching after as soon as we're done. There's only yeah. like twelve episodes Bargain... or something. Wait, what was the other one called? I don't remember. We're gonna watch Anyways, that. Anyways, we, but it's inspirational. we like those. it's fun. Yeah, we like those shows, gives us ideas, and then we're gonna share it all with you guys. And we like when you guys like you guys give us a lot of information, a lot you of do. tips too. But we wanna share it. We all can learn together here and not just, but it's not just about, obviously you, you want to find ways to make money and not have a regular job. That's fantastic. That's what we're about, but you got to enjoy that trip. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, David's mom is Scottish. Yeah. Mom wow. is Scottish. We're Scottish too. We've got we're Scottish, all Scottish. Um, you answer. guys into mid-century modern collecting. We don't, don't collect anything. We don't. Well, we don't really collect honest. anything, but we don't even know how to. I don't have a decoration stuff. in our house. Like there's stuff we. We don't know how to. Cool. Like there's things we'll run across. We wouldn't even know how to tell you. Like oh yeah, this is mid-century modern. Yeah, whatever, no. Or, you know, we aren't we, experts in anything, and I have no eye for fashion or fun learning, design though. or anything. So. So it's our projects will be interesting. Yeah, they'll be. <laughs> Mine's going to incorporate concrete. Because Steve is great with concrete. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's something that I can at least make something. There's a moose you know? in the loose about the hoose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Here's how it sounds is, uh, what's his name? He hosts the new gong show. Oh, no, Austin that's Powers. British. Sadly. No, when he does his Scottish accent. Oh, yeah. When Austin Power, what's his name? Uh, Mike Myers. When Mike Myers does an impression of his dad, that's what this guy sounds like. Like, he does an impression of his dad, and it is really hard, <laughs> hard to understand. So I married an ex-murderer when he's doing that one. Oh, I used to watch Mad Men to get ideas about mid-century. Oh, cool. That's a good that's idea. That's neat. That is cool. I do remember we made some good money on this little bar. We didn't know what Mad Men was at the time, but we saw other people kept oh, mentioning yeah. Mad Men on it. And it was like a liquor cabinet, like yep. a little, um, not a cabinet, but like a little the portable one. Yeah, but it's like a suitcase thing. But yeah, they put kept putting vehicle. Mad Men on there. So we're like, okay, we'll put Mad Men on there. That thing sold for good yeah. money. Mad Men. So Boom. Mad Men sold. inspired that sale. Yeah. Thanks, Mad Men. I think we watched one episode, didn't get into it. Exactly. We'll see, though. We need to probably give it another one. Hey, guys. We actually have to get some work done. We do. This wasn't work. This was just fun. Are we going to uh, save that box for tomorrow or are we going to do it today? We'll wing it. We got to get some stuff done here we first get and some then we'll, we'll see. Yeah. But uh, we appreciate everybody who popped in. We appreciate your time. We know that's valuable. It truly is valuable. Your time is precious. Yes. It's not an infinite supply, right? Nope. But in the next life, it might be. Hey, Ooh. we appreciate you guys. 
and uh, enjoy your life, and we will hopefully see you guys later. Oh, we watched Peaky Blinders. It was awesome. That's right, Jennifer. E-Y-L. Enjoy your life, you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.